Hi, this demonstration is going to show you some of the uh, base sheet metal functionality within PTC CoCreate's modeling solution. Okay, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to look at the uh, sheet metal menu here and I'm just going to pin it down because we will come back to it. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start off with the work plane. Here's my work plane and I'm just going to draw a basic profile. In fact, if I do a... Um, no come out of that command and I view by current work plane of fit uh, I'm going to draw a, a simple profile okay just something that we can follow nothing too exciting if I hover over this it'll pick it up and put it in the straight line with it okay Okay, so here's my uh, start profile for my the base of my sheet part. So I go back to the sheet menu. Uh, I can pick a new sheet by outline, which is the profile that we've just created. It's going to create a sheet part called P1. We can rename this if we want and call it sheet part. Okay, uh, and it's going to apply material in the direction indicated by the arrow and we're going to apply a thickness of 1.25 uh, we can at uh, this point apply uh, material like this and we don't want to keep the wear plane and we just accept so here's my my sort of start profile okay uh, let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing okay now working our way down through this menu uh, the next thing I want to do is add a lip to my base sheet part so it's asking me which lip edge do I want to uh, add to and if I hold the shift key down I can select multiple edges and then still holding shift down and pressing the middle mouse button I can select both of those edges okay uh, let me cancel that and show you the other way to do this if I select lip and it's asking me which edges I can also use the select command okay and start so I can select this edge and this edge and then end my selection okay uh, I'm gonna give it a, a lip length of 20 millimeters and you can see it's dynamically showing me what it's gonna start creating now we've got some controls over this lip and I could say for instance I don't want 90 degree I want it at 60 degrees okay um, sorry I'm picking a, an angle of the um, the lip itself there uh, it's the bend angle I want to adjust so let me just jump back and I'm going to adjust this to 60 millimeters uh, sorry 60 degrees uh, not 60 millimeters okay and you can see again visually it's showing me what's going to happen here and which direction it's going to be applying material we can reverse direction so as I click this button you'll see the blue arrow move and it's going to apply material in this direction okay so you've got pretty much full control over what's going to be happening uh, the command that I wrongly selected uh, just a second ago was uh, the ability to modify the uh, angle from the left the distance from the left again from the right um, so if I was to say I want a, a, an angle of 60 from the left you'll see what it does is it puts this angle in here I might also want a, an offset distance of five millimeters okay that's my phone going apologies um, like so okay and then I just say green tick to accept because visually I can see what it's going to give me and as if by magic no I don't want to save so here is my formed sheet part which is pretty neat okay the next what thing I'm going to do is apply a bend to the sheet uh, to create a bend okay now in order to do this I need to put a work plane on this face. So go back to work plane and work plane on face and then select the face there and I'm going to just apply uh, some construction geometry at which I'm going to place the bend. So if I put construction geometry about two positions what I'm going to do here is between that position and that position okay and you'll see why in a second 
So going back to my sheet um, menu, I'm going to create my bend. Now what it's asking me is click on the face which the bends to be created. Then it's asking me the line about which I'm going to create the bend and which is the anchor point. So this is the part of the face that won't be moving and then it's asking me for an inner radius so I'm going to pick an inner radius of 10. Now you'll see here if I zoom in it's showing me what it's going to create and it's going to bend this section of the sheet part up on that 10 mil radius. Now obviously I can adjust this and I can say I don't want 90 degrees I want 75 degrees and again visually it's updating this all the time and I want an inner radius of 5 millimeters. Uh, if I'm happy with my definition of the bend now uh, I could either preview it like this yep okay I'm happy with that and then I just green tick to accept okay just wait for it to finish uh, and at this point I will remove or delete my work plane. So here we are, here's my, my simple sheet part. Uh, I can modify a blend uh, and I can do a fold unfold. So if I say fold unfold, what is the base face? Uh, in fact, no, I don't want to do this. I'll, I'll use, the, there's a better one, and I'll unfold the whole part. What's the base face? and then green tick to accept and it will just give me the flat profile if I then say view by face and click here we are looking at the flat profile of my new sheet metal part okay it's pretty straightforward and then I can refold and then show step by step if you want to so if I just rotate that slightly and say okay it will start to form the steps uh, to refold it. Now I don't know whether you noticed but there are some magenta colors that it has created here and this is where the the action of bending this material has created bend deformation on the material so this is correct this is exactly what will happen in real uh, in a real world situation okay and again you'll see here where the bend is it's deformed the metal and that's well it says what it is really bend deformation okay I'm just going to fit this um, fit to screen the next thing I want to do is create a simple drawing a flat drawing of this part uh, I'm going to jump into the annotation module now I'll just show you if you go into modules you switch on the annotation by selecting it here okay once it's been activated we can jump into the annotation Annotation is where we create our drawings from the models. So I'm going to select to create a new drawing. Okay. It's showing me the part that we're working with and it's going to show me what the up and the front direction. So that's up and that's front. I'm going to accept those um, and I'm going to adjust my draw, draw scale down to 1 to 1. I'm going to add views. Okay so here we are this is going to add my views onto my drawing and then I just say create drawing at this point in time you can choose all sorts of different views that you want adding um, etc I'm just going to take the three default elevations and uh, if I quickly look at my drawing you'll see that it's showing tangential edges and hidden lines etc now what we really want to be looking at is the flat profile of this sheet part so if I go into views I want to create a new view of the flat okay it's asking me for the base face I'll define this as my base face and then green tick for yes and then I can put my view down onto my drawing now this view can obviously be dimensioned uh, as you need to dimension it but what you will see here is in addition to any dimensions that we're going to apply uh, it also tells you that there's a bend in the upward direction at an angle of 75 degrees and a radius of 5 millimeters. So this ability to create the flat profile of your sheet metal part is invaluable when you get to the point where you actually want to start to cut material in order to be able to produce it. Okay, that's my demonstration. Thank you very much.